Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This morning I've made it out super early on a Sunday morning. God, I can't even believe that I'm up at this hour on a Sunday morning, but the conditions are looking really, really good and that is why I'm up so early on a Sunday morning. And I've made it out to Thorpe Bay to take some sunrise pictures of the boats as it's coinciding with sunrise and low tide are both happening round about the same time, which means that I've got some fantastic compositions of these boats with the tide out and the pools of water that are left behind with the top receding tide and the iconic shots from this area that are possibly not that iconic if you're not living within this area or a photographer from this area but they are really quite iconic on social local social media of the chains leading lines up to the boat itself and then obviously the rising sun and the colors in the sky in the background so hopefully they're the type of images that i'm going to come up with today and uh yeah hopefully that cloud dissipates on the horizon and we'll see that we have a fantastic morning shoot. So I've set up for the first image already of this uh, lovely yacht that's here perched up on the beach. Um, working out really quite nice. I've got, obviously, as you can see, got the tripod dropped down really quite low to the, uh, to the sand here. I've got the lovely chain sort of leading round to one of the marker boys that is here. Obviously the, uh, the yacht itself and then the fantastic colours in the background. So what I'm doing for this particular image, I've got the wide angle lens on at 17mm because I really want to emphasise the foreground, midground and the sky and that's what it's really going to capture with the 17mm lens on. And I've got the camera set up on f11 ISO 50 and about 1.6 seconds and uh, yeah working out really quite nice. So f11 I'm focusing on the actual main subject which is the boat obviously um, and yeah working out really quite nice. Now as the sort of sun's rising and we're still about 20 odd minutes away from actual sunrise but the colours are increasing lovely. Now unfortunately like always the nemesis of every landscape photographer there is a bank of cloud on the horizon. Um, yeah I wish I got paid for saying that rather than getting sponsored by anything else because uh, yeah, I make a fair bit of money from that one but anyway. Um, still though the bank of cloud is actually working out okay because it's actually catching some of the morning light and as that's obviously coming through it's adding some sort of red and crimson bands across the image so hopefully will work out really quite well. So this is the classic image that I really wanted to capture this morning. So keeping the camera really low down to the floor for this one. Um, and I've got the chain sort of leading round and up to the actual boat itself. 
So with the ability to extend the arm out, I've been able to drop the tripod down as low as possible to really get the chain down into the uh, bottom right hand corner of the image. Then it obviously leading around up to the actual boat itself and then obviously the colours in the sky as well. So hopefully working out really quite well with this one. Again, keeping the camera on F11, but I have um, also bracketed the image as well, just so I make sure that I can pull out the detail in the sky as well. I did take a base image at uh, one fourth of a second. Um, that was obviously causing the boat itself to be silhouetted against obviously the background, um, which I actually quite like that image. But um, yeah, obviously again, having the bracketed image as well will hopefully work out really quite nice. And there's a couple of uh, geese and swans are flying over. Um, what a fantastic morning. Well worth getting up super early on a Sunday morning to get out for sunrise. But um, a little bit chilly though, but Hey ho, can't have everything, can we? So the sun is just popping up now over the bank of cloud and working out really, really good for this composition. So what I've got here is one of the mooring ropes that's uh, obviously on the sea floor here. One of the boats as well, the Eric Baker, that one I can actually read. But the rising sun over to the left hand side of the composition, casting some fantastic light on the actual mud and the sand here as well. So working out really, really good. One thing um, I've done about this composition and had a little bit of a think about it is that I'm using the boat itself to block another boat that's behind it. Because what I really like about coming to this location is the isolation of it. Now, it's not isolated in the respect of the location because yeah, it's only a couple of hundred yards from the actual road, which is behind you, but trying to get the isolation of the actual boats itself. Now, it can be quite tricky because there's lots of boats around here. And in this conditions or this situation, this composition, it's actually working out really quite well because as I say, I've got the camera down low and it's actually using the boat itself and particularly the angle that the boat is actually laying at is hopefully working out really quite well to block the boat behind you've got some really interesting foreground then obviously the mid ground of the boat and over to the left hand side of the composition the actual rising sun which keeps on getting better one thing though that i'm having to consider is that i'm in a little bit of a pool of water which is good because it's adding for some interesting foreground but i'm having to make sure that i'm being careful with my steps because of the ripples of water that it's creating i don't necessarily want that within the image i want it kind of as, as minimal and as plain as possible um, and the eye to be drawn through to the actual interest of the ropes and the marker boy then up to the boat itself and then over to the rising sun. So yeah, just having to pause for a second or two before then I see I click the shutter, which has always got the two second timer on anyway. But uh, yeah, it's just really making sure that you're in thinking about all the compositional parts and elements that you want before you actually press that shutter button.
Next competition, I'm working again, still on this same boat. It's working out to be really, really a good subject to shoot this morning. One thing on my camera that I'm trying to use a little, little bit more, as well as the histogram, which I use most of the time, is the actual light meter on it at the same time. Because um, even though I'm bracketing the images, because obviously the dynamic range of this side of the boat is in shadow, and obviously the bright sunshine behind, um, the light meter is obviously quite key as well to obviously make sure that you're getting that first exposure uh, your base image at the right exposure and then obviously letting the bracket do obviously its thing either side of that but um, yeah working out really interesting now as you can see I've got my uh, camera a little bit higher than I have done on previous compositions even though I've now got the camera uh, in vertical orientation and slightly angled down so I've obviously got this fantastic chain arcing round leading up to the boat which is what I really really wanted and luckily enough with the sun now making its appearance over to the right hand side of the actual boat as we're looking at it working out really interesting now I've got it set up on f11 base image is 1 100th of a second obviously exposing about two stops either side just letting the camera obviously calculate that and doing its own thing ISO 50 as normal but um, yeah, wow. This, this is why it's worth getting up so early for sunrise. As I was driving down, I thought, great, the actual weather app that I was looking at uh, yesterday actually said that there would be no cloud. Because they had quite a lot of cloud over the past week or so. And uh, it said no cloud, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, this weather app is never the most reliable, even though it's pretty well used the uh, the clear skies one but uh, yeah it actually worked out right this morning which is fantastic isn't it and um, yeah apart from that little bit of cloud on the horizon which is always going to happen isn't it but um, yeah wow as I say this is where it's worthwhile getting up pulling yourself out of bed on a Sunday morning have I mentioned that already that it's a Sunday morning yeah Sunday morning, that I'm up Sunday morning. Why, why? But, this is why. So, <laughs> joking aside, yeah. It's always worthwhile getting up, isn't it, for a sunrise shoot, and when you've obviously got conditions like this, makes it even better, doesn't it? Oh, it's been an amazing morning down here at uh, Thorpe Bay to capture sunrise and lovely glorious sunrise it is. Um, yeah, really worthwhile getting up early to actually come out on this shoot this morning and um, luckily enough the weather app was correct and the conditions are exactly as it was and um, yeah, really really enjoyable. And hopefully some of the images that I've captured today that you've enjoyed as well. If you have, please make sure you leave us a comment below because I really do enjoy those comments and if you've liked it that much please consider giving it a thumbs up as well. If you haven't yet already please consider subscribing as well so I really do enjoy that and thank you to everyone that's recently subscribed. I'm almost about 780 uh, subscribers which is absolutely amazing I can't can't believe that at all. Um, yeah I'm really, really surprised I made it over 10 to be honest and those 10 I would have had to have paid in the first place anyway but uh, yeah no it's really good really good and thank you ever so much for everyone that subscribed so yeah hopefully today it's worked out really really well um, really enjoyed myself coming down here and making the effort to get out of bed on a Sunday morning if uh, if you haven't know it was a Sunday morning that I'm out um, but yeah no it's really really good so thanks everyone for watching and until next time take care back home now for pancakes which is always a good one isn't it